We're barbecuing today, so let's get after it. Have yourself a look at this. All right, folks, that's a roast I picked up the other day. That's been marinating for about 24 hours. It smells delicious right out of the marinade. However, we're going to sit there. We're going to get the temperature down a little bit. We're going to let it sit probably for about four hours, and we're going to cover it up. All right, so for all you see in the temperature over 300 and losing your mind, that's kind of by design. So I started out about 400. I just let the coals sit there by themselves. Got down to about 325. I put the meat on. I'm trying something different here. So what I'm trying to do is get a nice bark on the outside, let the coals burn down by themselves, and slowly bring the internal temp up just by using the coals burning themselves down. So we'll see if it works. I know you professional grillers out there are probably going, man, this guy's lost his mind. Are you kidding me? Hey, I gotta try it, see what happens. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, <laughs> you'll know what not to do. And by the way, when I bought this Char Griller barbecue, it's just a basic barbecue. It's got the, as I said before, it's got coals on one side, propane on the other, never use the propane. What it was missing was shells. So I added this little one right here in the front. Give me a finger here. I added this little one right here in the front. And I put this down on the bottom. Char Griller for uh, $8. Think about it. All right, I didn't show you, but I did wrap the roast in tin foil, put it back on the barbecue at about 325, and just let the charcoal run out. It's now run out. It's about uh, 2.30, quarter to 3, so it has wound itself down over a period of a couple hours, which is exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, so I'm hoping it works. Right now, it's sitting on the counter resting, and then we're going to take it out in a little bit and see how it looks. All right, well, the meat's done. Now, the interesting part's going to be the blooming onion. Now, I already cut it up. The reason I didn't video me cutting it up is because I had onion everywhere and onion over my hands. I didn't want it on my camera. So here's what we got. So what I did was I cut the stem off of each end. Then started out with it upside down, making my cuts about three quarters of an inch from the top, down clear through to the bottom. Once you do that all the way around, switch it over. All right, so once you get a cut, the top to the bottom without going all the way through, you then got to spread it all apart. Got to be careful though because these will break off. Then we start mixing in the flour in the wash. Stand by. We're going to start with two and a half cups of flour. Got some Cajun seasoning. Some chipotle. Gotta have paprika. And maybe some Fines herbs. Who's Fines herbs? She didn't find that funny at all. Did you? No, not at all. All right, so it's a tablespoon of the paprika, a teaspoon of the Fines herbs, Fines herbs, and a teaspoon of the Cajun. Next, we got to get a separate bowl with one cup of milk and two large eggs. All right, the first blooming onion, yeah, tasted okay. The sauce was great. However, Dipping it back and forth and the onion was so big it was kind of uncontrollable. Uh, when we cooked it, there was some flour. The batter wasn't quite done. Well, we're doing an air fryer, not deep fried. We had to set it set at 25 minutes at 350 degrees. Could have used a little bit more. Trial and error, folks. But the meat, my God, I outdid myself on that piece of meat. <laughs> so I'm sitting here editing this video and I realized I didn't record an outro. I can tell you the meat was fantastic. The bloomin' onion, yeah, and he le left a little to be desired, but it was not bad at all. The sauce, sauce was fantastic. Not quite opax, but it was pretty darn close. We ate it. Didn't touch the camera, we just ate it. It's the kind of thing happens around here. Oh, oh, by the way, having the coals up hot, around 325, letting them run out on their own, it might have been just a tick overdone, but it was it was very, very juicy, and it, it tasted great. You got to have the right piece of meat. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Folks, if you haven't done so, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button down below. Ring the bell. 
so you'll get notified every time I upload a video. And until the next one, we'll see you. I gotta tell you though, you gotta have the right piece of meat because, because otherwise, if it's too big, uh, this is turning into a problem.